Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley with Haley Stitches and today I'm gonna to show you how to thread your Singer Tradition sewing machine. Let's get started. There are two things we're going to need before we get started. The first is our Singer Tradition sewing machine. Before you start threading your machine, make sure it is in the off position and you can even do this while the machine is unplugged for extra safety. The next thing that we're going to need is a spool of thread. So for quilting, I always enjoy using a 100% cotton 50 weight Aurifil, and the color I'm using today is called Dove, but you can use whatever thread you have available. First, we'll want to place our spool of thread onto the spool pin. So this pin raises a tiny bit to assist you with this process, and you just want to slide the spool of thread on, and then you want to place your spool cap on top of the thread. So there are two different sizes. There's a smaller size, as you can see on this side, and then a larger size on this side. You just want to place whichever one fits your spool of thread best. So my spool has a really small plastic end over here, so I'm just gonna slide on the small side so the small side is facing my spool of thread. You just want to make it so it's snug and this will assist so that your spool of thread doesn't wobble when you're using your machine, and it will help you so the actual thread doesn't tangle when it's getting fed through the machine. Next, we're just gonna follow the instructions on our machine. So this machine is really nice because it gives you each step in the process. So the first step is going to be to feed it under this hook here, this even feed hook. So we're gonna pull a length of thread out and then just make sure it is under the hook here. And then we're going to feed it in the tension springs back here. So under here is where you wanna go when you're ready to start sewing. This tension spring here is what you wanna do when you're winding your bobbin. So that's shown on this graphic here. So make sure it is secure back here, and then we'll move to the next step. Now we can see step two is right here. It says to put your thread through this slot here, and then step three, you're going to pull your thread up this slot here. And then step four is actually putting your thread through this metal slotted hook. So we're just going to slide that down and then step five is to bring your thread all the way down. And I'll show you another quick angle of step four, the metal hook here. So here's a closer view of the metal hook. And if you're not seeing this in your machine, just move the hand wheel slightly and you'll see it will pop up. So it'll go down and then up and then just put it in the most upright position to get the easiest way to access it and you can see the slots in here. So we just wanna feed our thread through that slot. So I'm gonna do that right now, just to show you guys again, so it makes a little bit more sense closer up. Okay, so now you can see it's in that middle loop there, and we're just gonna pull the thread down towards our needle. The last step is to actually thread our sewing machine needle with the automatic needle threader. So you can see we're zoomed in on our needle. So the first step to do this is we need to make sure that our needle is in the most upright position. So you're gonna use your wheel on the side of the machine and just spin it until you can get it at the most upright position. And you want it so the needle is just slightly on its way down. So right here is the perfect point to use this automatic needle threader. So how we are going to do this is we're going to have the thread in one hand and then you're gonna use the other hand to push down this lever. So this lever has the automatic needle threader on it. That's what this little guy is over here. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like when we push it all the way down. You can see that little arm hooks onto the needle and the feet of that little arm is gonna feed the thread through the needle, the eye of the needle. So that's really what we're looking at here. So in order to get the thread through it, what you have to do is place your thread on this little arm. And I like to hold it 
a little bit tight over to the side. So I'll show you that again. You're gonna go towards the left behind it and then just pull it over to the right and this it just helps you kind of keep it secure on there so it doesn't fall off on the way down. And then you're going to push it all the way down. And then you see that little arm come forward on the needle. And what you want to do is make sure your thread goes through those two little arms. And then I just pull it taut and then you let go. And I just let go of both so that it doesn't pull out of the needle. And you can see that the thread is actually through the needle right now. Here's a better angle. You can actually see the loop that went through the needle. So all we have to do now is just finish pulling the thread all the way through the needle. So to do that, I just like to grab the loop and then pull. And you can see my thread is pulling all the way through. And there we go, we have a fully threaded needle. So before you get started sewing, you just wanna make sure that you pull the thread through the middle of your foot and then put the tail of the thread behind your machine. And then you have a completely threaded top half of your machine and you are ready to start sewing. Now you have everything that you need in order to thread your sewing machine. If you'd like a photo tutorial, you can head over to my blog and you can check out some troubleshooting tips while you're there. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos just like it, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all next time. Bye.